packed in this weekend's hometown Maine. We head to the city of Portland, the largest city in the state, of course, remains vibrant year round. And a walk through its downtown it is home to historic landmarks, great restaurants, and of course, the arts district as well. And when it comes to the arts, one building has stood as the cornerstone of the city now for over a century. While many big names have played its stage, there is still a piece of history which remains on its stage, and it's been there since the early 20th century. Let's head to Portland for this weekend's hometown Maine. The Merrill Auditorium has been part of the very fabric of Portland's downtown for over 100 years. It was originally known as City Hall Auditorium when it was built back in 1912, and for the last century, it has hosted concerts, plays, graduations, and one sound that has been synonymous with this building ever since. Since 1912, the Merrill Auditorium has been home to the Kochmere organ. And thanks to a recent $2.5 million renovation, this mighty and powerful instrument sounds better than ever. It has an ability to express the quietest and softest sounds to a thundering, heroic, thrilling music. Shortly after the auditorium was built, the organ was given to the city from a man by the name of Cyrus Curtis. He grew up here in Portland and as a tribute to the person who really made the arts come alive for him, Herman Kochmar, who was Portland's music man from the 1860s until he died in 1908. He gave this in his memory. Hence, the Kochmar organ. Ray Cornells has been the city of Portland's organist for a quarter century. What a great gig. Uh, it's a wonderful instrument. It is uh, his historic. It is a lot of fun. You can have a, a car horn. Cornelius first learned how to play Fire the piano alarm. at the age of seven and then the organ at the age of 12. And since then, he has spent most of his life grooming himself to play this majestic instrument. I have five different manuals plus some for the feet. There are hundreds of controls. Every time I sit down at the bench, I learn something new. The organ just underwent completion of a two and a half million dollar renovation project. Specifically, it's 7,101 pipes. This is the instrument's nerve center, 50 tons in all, responsible for each manual, control, note, and key. This is not electronic. Nothing is made other than by acoustic sounds, and wind is important for the generation of every 7,101 pipes of this instrument. But that wind supply over the years had been compromised. And without the lungs working well, nothing else would. Now it does what it should, and then some. Cornelius admits there was a personal void during the two-year renovation project, but thanks to private and city funds, the Kochmer organ is back on center stage. Its return concert last month was sold out, and now select performances, holiday shows, and its future for many years to come all await. And what would the instrument sound like when it came back? And it delighted and surprised me with how wonderful it is. What a beautiful sound. If there's something about your hometown that makes it unique, a person, place, or thing, we, of course, want to hear from you. So email us at hometownemmy at wmtw.com, and maybe we'll feature your hometown in a future hometown main segment. By the way, on, on Halloween night at the Merrill Auditorium, they'll have the uh, silent version, the black and white version of Phantom of the Opera, and the uh, music will be accompanied by the Kochmar organ itself. And that is something to attend on Halloween night. That's going to be a great treat. Love hearing that.